So this is it. This is where it all happens. Where the illustrious Professor Henry Haas comes up with all of his amazing inventions. Gizmos and gadgets everywhere. And look at all the plaques and trophies. Must be nice. Only plaque I ever get is the kind that sticks to my teeth. Hmm. Invention Convention 2016. First place. Invention Convention 2015. First place. 2014. Oh, first place every year. He's even smarter than I thought. Hmm. And what do we have over here? A robot? Pleased to meet you. The name's Oda Grimm, also known as the evil Oda Grimm. Perhaps you've heard of me. I kind of have a reputation for messing things up. In fact, Mayhem is my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Hey, how about we have some fun? Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna move this wire here, and this wire over here, and this wire up here. <laughs> I am just a villain. I can't help myself. Hey, what's going on? I thought they were closed on Mondays. Oh. Listen, I'd love to stay in chat, but I gotta hide. Oh, and uh, do me a favor and keep our little conversation to yourself, okay? Bye. Yeah, no, school's fine, except I have this huge paper due next week. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, I will. Okay, all right, I just got to work, so I gotta go, okay? All right, love you too, Mom. Bye. Okay. Whoa, how did this happen? Was it you? All right. That's so weird. These were on the table when I left. Bizarre. Okay. All right, Mr. Robot, you ready for your first test? Okay, power on. Okay. So far, so good. Battery levels are full. All right, let's see how you're working. Right arm up. No, down. I said right arm up. Okay, down. Okay, uh, left arm up. Thank you so much. Oh, what is going on? I don't get this. Tighten that up. Okay, Let's see if that worked. Now, right arm up. What are you doing? Sit. Good boy. Well, I hate to break it to you, sir, but I think we're gonna have to open you up. I know, don't worry. Don't get discouraged, though. I think it's just a couple tweaks here and there. Then you just need a voice box and a really cool name. Something better than Mr. Robot. No offense. <sighs> what would be a good name? Hey, computer. Yes, how may I help you? What would be a good name for a robot? A good name would be Fluffy. Fluffy? Come on. So we're naming a robot, not a cat. We need a really cool name. A really cool name would be Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. You want to name our robot Mephibosheth. Are you serious? I am a computer. I am always serious. No, oh, we need something like C-3PO or R2-D2 or something. Do not be silly. Those are not names. Those are numbers. What? Of course they're names. You should know that. Mephibosheth is a cool name. Okay, well, I can see you're not going to be any help at all, so just forget about it. But I am here to help you. That is my purpose, my reason to exist. I said forget it. 
Well, you do not have to get snippy about it. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Just whatever you do, don't cry, okay? You'll sort out your circuits. Again. <sighs> that is one sensitive computer. I heard that. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm sorry, this area is actually restricted. It's not part of the tour. Uh, of course, you don't recognize me, do you? Oh, um, sure. Yeah, you're trying to look like the professor, right? Well, cool costume, kid, but you really got to get out of here. This is no place for a child. No, 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 I'm not trying to look like the professor. I am the professor. Right. Yeah, you know what? I'm Cinderella. No, really, Avery. I am Professor Hawes. Wait, how'd you know my name? Well, that's easy, because I'm your boss. Just a much younger version of him, that's all. Oh, yeah? Listen, kid, I'm not buying it. Names are easy to come by. Listen, something went wrong in the lab last night. Well, here I am. Okay. If you're the professor, then prove it. All right. Your name is Avery Ann Thomas. You were born in Cleveland, Ohio, January 25th, 1994, and you graduated from Springdale High School with a 4.0 GPA. Okay, keep going. Um, you're left-handed, you like to eat with chopsticks, and you read 50 books a year. Ha, huh, gotcha. What? It's 52, not 50. Okay, 52. And you're susceptible to brain freezes, so you never drink anything with ice in it, and you still play with dolls. Wow. It really is you, isn't it? Yeah, it's me, all right. I can't believe it, you're like 12 years old. I know, you can imagine the shock when I looked in the mirror. So what happened? Well, I don't exactly know. And can you change back to the way you were? I sure hope so, because I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to everyone. <sighs> Especially my wife. <gasps> she doesn't know? No, she's in New York visiting her sister. Huh, probably good. Yeah. I just got to get back to the drawing board to figure out where I made my error. Time travel is so complicated. Wait, I'm sorry. Did you say time travel? Oops. That's what this is? A time machine? Shh, yeah, keep your voice down. Well, that's why you're here by yourself every night? Correct. Why are you being so secretive about it? Because of what it is. Do you have any idea what someone would do if it got in the wrong hands? Someone who would use it for their own selfish purposes? Like the evil Oda Grimm? Well, no, I can't really ever say I've thought about it. Well, trust me, they could literally change the course of history. Wow. You really think she'd come here? You mean the evil Oda Grimm? Probably not. But still, you've got to promise me that you'll keep this all to yourself. Yeah, no, you can trust me. I won't say a word. And whenever you do, do not call it a time machine. Just call it the machine. The machine. So, can I look inside? Yeah, sure, go ahead. This is cool, I like that. What? Uh, there's, just, come here. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, did you say something? Yeah, yeah, we're just wondering who you are and what you're doing here. Oh, that's easy. I'm Betty, see? No. Oh, looks like my name tag fell off again. Wonder where that went. Well, anyway, I'm your new janitor. New janitor? Yeah, the agency called and said you needed a janitor, so here I am. And I am so glad you called because, well, I hate to say it, but this place needs a thorough going over. It's just filthy. That's all there is to it. Um, should I call human resources? No, no, I'm sure they know what they're doing. Oh, I'm probably bothering you, aren't I? You're here working and I am not paying any attention. <laughs> so you didn't hear anything? Oh, I heard something all right. Chopin's funeral march. Dun, 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 Oh, I just love that song. But, well, I know I shouldn't be listening to music while I'm working. No, 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 that's all right. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, by all means. Well, okay, if you say so. <laughs> so, are the schools closed today? 
Uh, no. Why do you ask? Well, I was just wondering why he's not in school. Oh, uh, he's he's part no, of the. No, hey, it's none of my business. I mean, besides, I better get back to work, or I might find myself out of a job. <laughs> Soon, yeah. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, I'll say. Hey, uh, let's make sure we lock up the lab before we leave. We don't want any janitors in here, especially with the machine and all. We can just do our own cleaning. Or not. <laughs> okay, I'll let her know next time I see her. <laughs> the thought of grade school at my age. Can you imagine that? Ugh, don't remind me of school, please. Why? I thought you liked your classes. Yeah, they're fine. It's just my world history class. I've got this huge paper due next week, and let's just say I've got a long way to go on it. Like, how long? Ah, you know, like the whole way. I haven't started that yet, so. Probably because you've been spending all your time on the robot. I shouldn't have given you such a big project. Oh, no, that's not it. Besides, I'm almost done with him. Well, what's your topic? Well, that is easy. That's the problem. I don't have one. We're supposed to write about an important person in history, and I can't decide who that should be. Well, that's easy. It is? He was born in a small village, the child of a peasant woman. He worked in a carpenter's shop until he was 30. Then, for three years, he was a traveling preacher. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never owned a home. He never had a family. He never went to college. He never traveled 200 miles from the place where he was born. Well, still a young man, the tide of popular opinion turned against him. His friends went, ran away. One denied him, another betrayed him. He was turned over to his enemies and subjected to a mockery of a trial. Then they nailed him to a cross between two thieves. While dying, his executioners gambled for his clothes, the only property he owned. After he was pronounced dead, he was taken down and laid in a borrowed tomb. Twenty centuries have come and gone, and today he's the center of the human race. All armies that have ever marched, all navies that have ever sailed, all parliaments that have ever sat, and all kings that have ever reigned, put together, have not affected the life of man as powerfully as this one solitary life. Wow. That was powerful. That's Jesus, right? Correct. And you know what makes him so extraordinary? He wasn't only man. He was also God, second person in the Trinity and creator of everything. Fully God and fully man. They don't get much more important than that. Wow. I guess I don't know as much about Jesus as I thought I did. Oh. Got a class? Yeah, it starts in 15 minutes. Oh, you go ahead. We can talk about this later. Okay, thanks, professor. Professor, really hope you get this whole thing figured out because this is so weird. <sighs> Dear Lord, thank you for the opportunity to share with Avery. This is exactly what I've been praying for. Please open her heart to understand the truth about who you are. Let's go! Let's go!